Welcome. This is when you're really, really young. Men have this secret switch and nobody knows where it is. Otherwise we turn it off or maybe we switch it on. But when you're growing up as a young boy, you don't really notice girls much. You know, you see them there, but you don't really have anything to do with them. And they're a bit annoying mostly, quite obnoxious. They seem to be very noisy people. And they're always fiddling around with their face or hair and doing some really superficial stuff that's not really important. They don't like what you do, like you like fishing, you like baseball. They don't like any of that. They don't even like the films you like to see or programs you like to see. So, you, you know, they're a bit of a waste of time, really. It's better maybe just go outside with your dog, go down the river or something. Much more fun. You know, catch some frogs. Maybe eat a couple. <laughs> I never did that. But, yeah. And then you get to this certain age. And a switch goes on. And all of a sudden you see these women everywhere. And they're beautiful. And they're... You want to talk with them. And you, you want to be close to them. And... And you just can't stay away from them. And everywhere they go, you want to be. Is It's really the opposite, isn't it? But you can't help it. Nature has made it that you can't help it. You can't stop going anywhere near them. So a man has a switch that gets switched on. And he has no control over that. And... It's annoying. It's obviously nature's way of making him really horny so that the females will get impregnated, of course. But, you know, it's women don't understand how strong it is in a man. Or maybe they do and they use it to their advantage. But boys, once they get the switch on, they can't control it, a lot of them. They're completely out of control. And that's what makes the men weak and the women strong. And that's not a good thing. Now, there are some young men who the switch goes on and it's not quite as strong in them. And they fare better at the end of the day once it the smoke clears because they are a bit more in control of their feelings and their urges and of course it affects some women sometimes that the same way it affects males and I think they're called nymphomaniacs or something but in general it doesn't affect women as, as nowhere near as it affects men fortunately uh, guys there is light at the end of the tunnel because when you get older that wanes a lot and you're, you start seeing a lot clearer. Trouble is, it takes quite a few years. So it would be great if we could sort of, uh, before the switch goes on in boys, and, is to have some small operation where we can actually now also switch it off ourselves. And that would make us not so susceptible to women's nature. For those of you young guys out there that the switch is on now, don't worry, you're not alone. We've all been there and it's a very cloudy time. You don't actually think very straight a lot of the times, which of course gets us into some troubles sometimes. Um, I can't see it changing in the near future, except for these newer men, maybe it's not as strong. You know, those, these men that are supposed to be more in touch with their feelings and these men that these women are creating that um, aren't really men-ish 
like they used to be. And the other thing about women, they all get in touch with your feelings. You know, you should cry more. Men don't normally cry, except for really, you know, special circumstances. We don't feel the need, right? We can give, do it another way, maybe go and punch a guy in the head, or maybe do a really hard day's work. Men do cry, but only in real special occasions. Women just cry any time, and they're emotional wrecks, most of them, and I don't want to be that. You guys don't want to be that either. Getting in touch with your feelings. Be a man. Well, it's up to you, of course. Anyway, deal with it the best way you can out there, guys. And um, it will pass. It will wane. And uh, good luck. May the force be with you.